The legend of the Sea Hag is one of the scariest stories you'll ever hear about the New Haven Harbor. Uh, she looks a little like this, but way back when, as the legend goes, uh, Sir Robert Henway who was a wheeler, dealer, uh, shyster. He was selling deeds of land to these wealthy investors that have never even been to Connecticut. And he knew that there was a North Haven, an East Haven, a West Haven, so he was selling this prime South Haven real estate. And he made a killing. And now these investors came to want to see their land, and they realized it was the Long Island Sound. So this guy had to get out of town. Uh, he told his wife he's got to leave. She said, I'm coming with you. He said, no, you can't, it's too dangerous. He hopped on, I believe it was a trade ship uh, going to India. She stowed on the boat, she got in there, and she never made it to India. And she never made it back home. So the legend has that she must have sadly drowned in the New Haven Harbor. And there's a lot of sightings and reports of, of her still haunting the harbor to this day. So that is the legend of the sea hag. Okay, that's a legend. Now tell us the real story. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, that one actually didn't happen. It was just a name that I liked. Uh, friends of mine used to joke around with the name Sea Hag, and it clicked. And that wasn't enough of a cool story, so we had to make up a much better story than that. Sea Hag's different. Uh, it's just always been consistent, and it's always evolved slowly into getting it to be the best that it can be. The, the biggest thing is how fresh it is. Wherever you go to see uh, to get Sea Hag, it gets brewed here, it leaves um, the afternoon, it's sometimes at the store the next morning. So if you ever go into a liquor store, just pick it up, you'll see the date and some kind of amusing quote that we put on the bottom of the cans there, that, that changes. And uh, it's very rare you'll see one that's more than a couple of weeks old. And it's hard for us to satisfy the state. We're only in one state, we still can't make enough of that, which makes me so proud. The team that we have here is just awesome.